The second and last solar eclipse of the year is set to take place on December 4, 2021. This is exactly 15 days after the lunar eclipse, which was on November 19. It will be a total solar eclipse when the new moon comes between the sun and earth and casts the darkest part of shadow on earth. Please let us know what you think of our videos. Also, if you have not subscribed to our channel, Secrets of Space, please subscribe to get notified about our new videos in future. A solar eclipse happens when the moon moves in front of the sun, as seen from a location on Earth. During a solar eclipse, it gets dimmer and dimmer outside, as more and more of the sun is covered by the moon. During a total eclipse, the entire sun is covered for a few minutes, and it becomes very dark outside. The animation to the right shows the path of the moon's shadow across the Earth. The red circle shows the edge of the moon's shadow. All places inside the red circle will see the moon covering some part of the sun's disk. Within this, contours show where various fractions of the sun's disk is covered. The green cross in the center of the moon's shadow indicates the point of central eclipse, where the moon appears exactly centered on the middle of the sun's disk and where a total eclipse will be seen. The fact that an eclipse can occur at all is a fluke of celestial mechanics and time. Since the moon formed about 4.5 billion years ago, it has been gradually moving away from Earth by about 1.6 inches or 4 centimeters per year. Right now the moon is at the perfect distance to appear in our sky, exactly the same size as the sun, and therefore block it out. The time of the solar eclipse will start from 10.59 a.m. and will go on till 3.07 p.m. on Saturday, December 4, 2021. This solar eclipse will be visible in Antarctica, South Africa, Australia, and South America. The solar eclipse will not be visible in India, but you can watch the celestial event online on December 4. Total solar eclipses are a happy accident of nature. The sun's 864,000 mile diameter is fully 400 times greater than that of our puny moon, which measures just about 2,160 miles. But the moon also happens to be about 400 times closer to Earth than the sun. The ratio varies as both orbits are elliptical. And as a result, when the orbital planes intersect and the distances align favorably, the new moon can appear to completely blot out the disk of the sun. On the average, a total eclipse occurs somewhere on Earth about every 18 months. There are actually two types of shadows. The umbra is that part of the shadow where all sunlight is blocked out. The umbra takes the shape of a dark, slender cone. It is surrounded by the penumbra, a lighter, funnel-shaped shadow from which sunlight is partially obscured. During a total solar eclipse, the moon casts its umbra upon Earth's surface. That shadow can sweep a third of the way around the planet in just a few hours. Those who are fortunate enough to be positioned in the direct path of the umbra will see the sun's disk diminish into a crescent as the moon's dark shadow rushes toward them across the landscape. During the brief period of totality, when the sun is completely covered, the beautiful corona, the tenuous outer atmosphere of the sun, is revealed. Totality may last as long as 7 minutes 31 seconds, though most total eclipses are usually much shorter. The next solar eclipse will be a total solar eclipse on April 30, 2022. It will be the only partial solar eclipse of the year. It will be visible from South America, parts of Antarctica, and over the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Please let us know in comments from which location are you going to watch the live stream of total solar eclipse. Thank you for watching.